Sarah Palin is in town to help handle Garner votes in a tight Republican primary. Channel 2's Lori Geary is live in Union City in South Fulton County where Palin is expected at any minute. Lori? Well, actually, it's very loud here right now. We're at the Green Manor Restaurant in Union City. You can see Sarah Palin just took to the podium just a few moments ago. It's a small venue, so a lot of these folks had no idea who the special guest was. For these Republican supporters of Karen Handel, it was a pleasant surprise to see Sarah Palin, who endorsed Karen Handel last week for the second time. Last time around, it was her run for governor four years ago. Now, Palin's visit comes at a time when Handel's campaign could use a boost. Our recent Channel 2 Action News poll shows her last among the well-known candidates. The former Secretary of State and Chairwoman of the Fulton County Commission says it's early. Tell us what this means to your campaign. This is a huge boost. We're so fortunate uh, to have Sarah Palin coming in today to do an event with Republican women. So just awfully gracious of her and a tremendous boost for the campaign. Talk about the timing because, you know, you and I talked about the polls, but, I mean, you said you were just getting going. You were just hearing the momentum. Talk about, you know, how this kind of really officially starts the, the head to the home base. You know? It really does. As we really finish out these last weeks into May 20, this is able to get us uh, a lot of momentum heading into that. So you'll see this steady, steady, steady. We're up on radio. We'll be going up on TV soon. And there you see back here now live in Union City where Sarah Palin is rallying the troops. Now I also asked Handel about an issue that continues to follow her on the campaign trail. This time it's David Perdue pointing out that Handel does not have a call. We lost away there, but of course we'll hear more coming up on Channel 2 Action News at 4 o'clock. Now for your weather. It's the last day in the 80s temperature-wise for a bit.